Hi, I'm Candy Cooper, and this is Katie Hacker, and today's show is all about color. Imagine a world all in black and white. It would be pretty boring. No green leaves or blue skies. Or even red apples. Today we're going to look at some ways to use color, and the first is in an art supply holder. Brightly colored cord is knotted together to form the hanger. Let's take a look. What do we need to make this thing, Katie? Okay, so we're going to use some really long lengths of cord. Okay. You want to use nylon cord that's rather thick because you're going to be holding some flower pots and art supplies. Durable. Yeah, so you can choose different, two different colors. You also might want some wooden beads that have large holes, brass rings for hanging, and we're going to have the patterns for this on the website. So important. Definitely. So to get started, what you'll do is cut about seven and a half yards of cord Okay. of each of these. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cords. Mm -hmm. So they're folded in half through the brass ring. And the very first knot that you need to know is a wrap knot. So what you do is take a piece of cording that's about this long, it's about 12 inches. All right, so what you'll do is hold it on the cords and then wrap it over itself and around the cords. The knot is just like its name. It's not just a clever name. <laughs> so you wrap it all the way around. Kind of loosely. Then, yeah, loosely, um, just because I have so many cords here. I've never done and this And then you'll knot. tighten it up. I'm excited. As you go. Okay. Yeah, so you can place this end back through. And I probably should have started higher on my cord so that I would have a few more wraps, but I think three will work okay. Mm -hmm. You could do three to five times around, and then you pull this tight. How do we end it? And that's going to tighten it. You can add some um, craft glue under the knot, or you can just pull it really, really, really tight, and then cut it with scissors close to the knot here. Okay, perfect. So on this one, you can see it's a few more times around. Mm -hmm. Four times around, really tight, and up against the base of the loop, and it has some glue there. Um, then you can separate your cords into sections. So you have four sections that are Wowzers. four cords each. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so it can be a little intimidating. So what you can do is tie your bundles together with a little temporary piece of cord. Smart to use an opposite color of what you're doing so you know. Right, then it stands out. Yeah. Right, so the first knot then is a half knot. That's what this is, and it naturally spirals around. And there, use one cord of each color so that you get that stripey pattern. You go over the middle, behind and through. And then you just keep doing that over, behind, and through. Same two chords? Same two chords over the top. Keep going around. And you can see it's starting to develop a little bit of a spiral. Hmm. And this is the same knot that you use when you tie your shoe. Now, Katie, you're the perfect person to teach macrame because you wrote a book called It's Not Hard, right? I sure did. It's all about making jewelry with macrame techniques, but this is the same idea, just on a bigger scale. Yeah, and you can use plastic lacing, you can do this with parachute cord, right? That's right, yeah. And basically what we're making here is a plant hanger. And my mom had a bunch of these hanging in our house when I was growing up. So if you're not quite sure how to get started with this, you can call my mom. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep tying your half knot. And so you're going to do that for about six inches. So let's look at the next one, because okay. this one has all four sections with the half knots together, about six inches. And then what you do is tie, alter this is called alternating square knots. And this is also another jewelry technique just made larger here in macrame. So let me show you how to do that one. We'll remove this piece of cord, and you just put two cords to the center of opposite colors now, because we're tying this next section oh, together. Oh, and you're making it, this is where the, pl the pot will sit. This is where the pot's going to sit. And That's you're gonna right. kind of bring it together. That's right, okay. and all of these markings are so in the pattern it will tell you how long to make this from your last knot mm -hmm. so that you're sure they're all at about the same level so then we'll tie this one again and you do want to make sure these are tight because your flower pot's going to sit in there so now we'll do this one you can hold that one for me and see how these two sections are next to each other right so these two become your center cord this one is your knotting cord. You tie it over the top and through. So this is just a ba this is a square knot, mm -hmm. but because you're using the four cords, you have your two cords in your center. So you have one more section to knot together. So we'll untie this 
And same idea here, just making sure that the ones that are supposed to be next to each other are. And when you make your square knot, remember that you go in one direction the first time, and then you go in the other direction the second time, so that this doesn't make the twisting knots, this makes a flat knot. Right. Because it's going in both directions like that. Now you're going to gather these sections together and tie another wrap knot. Hmm. So let's take a look at the first section on the plant hanger so that they can see what it looks like. So from here, we've started with our wrap knot, then we've gone, done our twist knot, come down here, and we're right here, right? That's right. Okay, so then we would just repeat again? Yes, After repeat the knot. same idea again, mm -hmm. following the directions for length so that your flower pot sits perfectly in there. Okay. So this, again, we have, so here's a wrap knot. And then here's the beginning of the next section. So your bundles are still four cords each, mm -hmm. and you tie another section of half knots on each of these. Mm -hmm. So this one shows the half knots, and then it has the spacing with your square knot. Then it has another, another section here to square knot again, just like what we just did. And then you need to tie a wrap knot here. Okay. All right, so on our finished one, we have the wrap knot, and you can show us how to finish the ends. I thought you'd never ask. Okay, so to finish the ends, you're, you can just slide on these large hold beads. Do you want one? Sure. And I then you're going to tie your overhand knot. Right, and you kind of have to twist the cord when you put it through, slide it up, make a little overhand knot, and finish the end. And let's take a look at our finished pieces. They look great. This is going to be so fun hanging in your room. I love it.